A horse. A horse. My kingdom for a horse. Let's see how to add custom horse armor to Minecraft. All right, we find ourselves back at IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to add custom horse armor to the game. This is actually a fairly straightforward process. However, there is one tiny thing that you will need to keep in mind. So we go into our mod items class and then all the way down. Let's just copy over the boots here for the sake of argument. And we're going to change those to the ruby underscore horse underscore armor. And then the name, of course, as well, ruby underscore horse underscore armor. And then this is instead of an armor item, this is a horse armor item. And we will actually have to give it a few different parameters here. The first parameter is going to be the actual armor bonus. This is an integer. And the second one is a string. And that's going to be a ruby in this case. Let's actually go into this class here. So let's middle mouse button click on it. And you can see actually that the actual texture of this entity is then under textures, entity, horse, armor, horse, underscore, armor, underscore, whatever name we've passed in here, and then dot PNG. So this is what's very interesting here. So this is why we actually need to put the texture inside of the Minecraft folder. That's actually similar to the normal armor. So let's actually create the new directory here. So in the textures folder entity, and then inside of there, a right click new directory called horse, actually horse. And then inside of there, directory armor and then i'll just quickly copy over the png here and i'm also going to show this so this is how the sort of 3d model looks like right so this is what's going to be turned into a 3d model around the actual horse so that's definitely what is needed there and then just to give you an idea for the bonus here, so the iron armor has five bonus, golden has seven, and then diamond horse armor has a bonus of 11. So that's, of course, something that you would need to change if you wanted to make your armor better or worse. And then last but not least, we also want to add the JSON file for the item, because this is, of course, a normal item. So we're simply going to copy over the Ruby JSON. We're going to call this Ruby underscore horse underscore armor. Then, of course, this points to the ruby underscore horse underscore armor texture, which we're going to copy over as well. This, of course, in this case, goes to the item textures folder here. This is going to be the ruby horse armor. There you go. And then last but not least, let's also add the translation here. This is going to be the ruby underscore horse underscore armor. And then this is called the ruby horse armor. All right, now with all those modifications done and with everything in place, let's see if it works. All right, we found ourselves in Minecraft once more. And as you can see, we have the ruby horse armor in the game. And as luck would have it, we have a already tamed horse right in front of us. So let's see if we add the armor. There you go. They can see that the armor has been well properly added into the game. And yeah, that's actually how easy it can be. Right, and that is actually how easy it is to add the horse armor to the game. The real thing that you need to keep in mind is basically the actual placement of the texture that this ruby here determines what name this is. So this name, of course, once again, has to be correct as well. And once that is done, then it actually is a fairly straightforward process. Right, and that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would, of course, appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So, yeah.